15 minutes is a bullshit because in 15 minutes the sun will rise so i have to switch my camera off and take another try with different settings hello this is pavel baturin welcome to the new video talk about how to shoot in a freaking cold and how to make a long exposure and probably how to make a proper bracketing for the long exposure shots let's try it's like I found the spot for today's exercise as you can see we get some beautiful log trunk of the tree over here in the water and also we got the fortress on the other bank it's beautiful first of all I will start with the shot of the fortress and next I will realize which side the Sun will rise and after that I make a decision for the next shot Well, here is a shot. This is a fortress. This is my frame. And I have to use my headlight to make my camera focus. First shot, I will expose for the shadows. And you can see it takes 15 minutes and 15 minutes is a bullshit because in 15 minutes the sun will rise so I have to switch my camera off and take another try with different settings this is my second try the exposure is 30 seconds and when this is something affordable next one is exposed for the lights in the fortress and focus on the fortress First one, focus was on the trunk. is changing constantly and very fast and you hear all these birds it's just crazy thousands of them well I composed another shot the next one the tree trunks as a leading lines to the beautiful fortress on the background and the first shot is the focus on the trunks and next shot is the focus on the fortress I found another spot and it's again all about the river, the rising sun, the light, the colors and of course the fortress. I kind of like this tree with all these trunks over the river but also I really love these, mm, these bushes over here. 
I changed the ISO to the minimum just to be able to take a little bit long exposure. First exposure will be for these highlights, but focus on the bushes. And it takes us only three seconds. So next shot with the focus on the fortress. And the third shot with the focus on the tree trunk over here. I'm not sure if it's necessary, but just in case. If you like what I do, please consider to subscribe to my channel or at least hit the like button. Where is it? Here? Here? I don't know. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. The honest reason uh, for me to be here this early is not only my passion to landscape photography, it's also more about my insomnia. Let me know in the comments, do your insomnia help you in landscape photography? And now this water management tower is starting in my next shot. And again, I, I do love these bushes in the water. The water is higher right now. One exposure for the highlights. And yes, I do love this composition with this trunk, giant trunk in the water, leading to this uh, water management tower. I found this kind of nice autumn scene with bright yellow leaves and it's a nice opportunity for the real long exposure with ND filters and all that stuff. Just five seconds. According to my histogram, uh, it's okay. It's enough for the highlights. I never tried to make some educational content. So let me know in the comments if you are interested. Do you need any kind of suggestions? Let me know in the comments. I came back to the same spot I was filming in the beginning of this video and the sun has rise and the scene has amazingly changed. This is just incredible what, what just the light has done to this scene.
When I arrived here this morning, earlier today, this particular scene was completely in the dark. I even didn't see this trail and all this uh, amazing forest by this trail was like it's uh, something from scary movie and those transformations is what I do love about sunrises If you are an owner of this canoe, let me know in the comments.